Well, continue then with the gun refination. We will refine more the frame shape. I recommend to you try to have the high poly cylinder that we have with Dynamish. I recommend to you delete it because it just will add more size to our archive. And we will delete it because the servers will go slow. So for delete this part of the frame, I will add another image, this one from the superior part. Instead of lateral and frontal, we will add the superior part. This is here from the draw panel. And by using this option up down, we will repeat. Remember, you've got the offset and the map scale for ubicate your image. In case, and just in case that the piece is in another position, you could use flip for flip the blueprint. So, uh, I could rotate the gun too. I rotate this gun when I load it. So, I just rotate it till I get the correct axis. We will use this point of view for find the correct wide of the frame. We will turn off the other pieces. Well, the first that we are going to do activate the symmetry, the normal symmetry. And we will cut this here, there, we could see that in this case we've got a better shape. We just need to polish some curves on it. Pull this out a little bit. this other piece too. And we will move this piece backwards. Just a bit, that is fine. What we will do now is add more resolution to this piece by using the Dynamesh. up here I hate this transpose well we are having problems here we will try to mask some areas of our model
I hate this. Why? We will reveal the mesh. We've got a big polygons. And it will help us to have uh, equal polygons on every part. If it works at the first time, it could be amazing. We've got some difficult on this part. Let's see what happened here. This curve looks pretty good. We've got more definition on it. Maybe sometimes it will look some kind like a feet. This piece like a stair. But it isn't a problem of the mesh. It is just the visualization of the piece. It is because ZBrush have a little troubles for render a high quality mesh. So don't worry about it. We will curve this piece a little more. Basically, we apply something that we saw on the last video. Here on the cylinder, we try to create a polish and better and polish result. There we've got the thick mesh with more definition. There. I almost messed it up. this mask I will edit I will try to make wider the geometry on the back part just for try to fix because we could a little more there is better We'll cut this piece, we could cut it a little more, and I guess that we will finish this part. The same 
as we do on the superior part, we will repeat the same on the bottom part. We will move the geometry a little bit. And now we cut it. First we will mask some areas. There. I don't want to damage that part. And we will cut just this little part here. There. Now we've got the thickness and a piece with a good edge. We need to smooth a little bit that edges, but now it looks pretty good. I hope you like this video. With this video, we practice the things that I already show you. The next one is this piece over here. We will refine it a little more and we will fuse it with this one. This is all for this video and see you in the next one.